water bottle to keep the hair saturated, applicator bottle, end papers, and a rat tail comb. Uh, I'm joined here today by Danielle, or I should say I'm with Danielle, who's actually our model, um, who's actually, or I should say the candidate, who's, who's actually demonstrating everything on the video for today. Um, so she'll be chiming in from time to time to kind of give her thoughts. So we see that she sanitized her hands. She um, sprayed the station down in the area that she's going to be working on. Her general supplies are obviously already in the back. Um, general supplies are also the same name, or you can also call them universal supplies. Uh, but those are the supplies that, that are will be on the station throughout the whole test. So those never come down. So there's no sense in cleaning that section of the station. So this section is typically usually done after the thermal curling section. So she sprayed it down with her cleaner and she took her supplies out. So at this point, now she's draping the mannequin. Now, the reason why is because when you see this towel that's listed underneath or shown underneath, she's basically adding another towel to be able to uh, wipe off the excess, excess moisture from the rods once after they're saturated. All right, so we took a glance back right here at this part of the video to show you how she, with the different supplies that were shown. Obviously, all the supplies that are used are always put on a nice, fresh paper towel to make sure they stay nice and sanitary and clean. So, at this point, she's going to sanitize her hand. She almost forgot for a second. But she's sanitizing her hand, and she's basically getting in the habit of sanitizing her hand and her wrist as well. Um, she doesn't necessarily have to have her wrist sanitized for this section, but because she needs to have it sanitized or have it um, clean for two sections in particular with the shave and the facial, um, she basically just is in the habit of always just sanitizing her hand and her wrist. So that's a good a good thing to bear in mind. So she's going to kind of explain to you exactly how she has the hair section for this portion for the section that she's going to be rotting. So for this section of the examination, we're gonna set we're gonna um rod the back center section of the mannequin head, starting from the the back of the crown, back of the crown, yeah, down to the nape, yep, down through the nape. So you don't want to really start at the apex, which is the topmost portion of the head. The crown is an area of the head. Just start at the back of the crown. One key thing I'd like to let people know, one way to always get your hair adhere better to the rod is to saturate it. Even if you have to oversaturate it until it's dripping, that's fine. Because the more saturation you have or the, the more moisture you have in the hair, the hair will stick onto your papers better and you'll get a better roll on that rod. So right now I'm using a subsection. You don't want the subsection to be bigger than the rod or longer than the rod. You use a double bookend wrap to wrap the ends or to put on the, the ends of the hair and you roll from the ends of the hair down to the scalp. So there's multiple ways or multiple types of wrap, multiple types of ways to be able to wrap the, the hair ends. She's using, as she said before, the book end wraps. And as she mentioned before, she's making sure the hair stays damp so it adheres to the end papers. And as you saw right there, and as you'll see going forward, she always brings the hair all the way to the ends and she's rolling it all the way straight down on base. Sometimes you'll see while as I'm rolling, I kind of use my fingers to smooth the hair on the rod because the hair on the mannequin is crazy different lengths. So by using my fingers to smooth over the rods, it just helps the hair to roll smoother on the rod and not have hair sticking out through the, um, the rods. It just makes it look neater. So when you're placing your band on the rod as well, just be careful not to have that band close to the scalp area. You want to make sure the band is actually on top of your rods. Notice the placement of my rods, the first three rods I put in. Notice the placement of the band. And that's very important while putting the rods in. Is there a specific technique, Danielle, in terms of actually, you know, closing that that book or closing the end papers like when you're putting it on the hair? Not necessarily. Um, once you have the hair inside the paper, you want to pull the paper all the way to the ends of the hair 
make sure the ends of the hair is inside the paper, not sticking outside the paper. Because once the hair is sticking outside the paper, the examiner will see that and in the actual real life rotting session, you will have what's called fish hook ends. So make sure the ends of the hair is inside of the paper and that way you'll get a better perm and a better curl. Okay. Now, just as a reminder, this is the state board version for chemical waving. So typically when you look at your instructions, what you'll find is that you will be rotting from the crown to the nape. This isn't necessarily the only way to have to section the hair. What you're, part, what you're being graded on is not only the rotting technique and so forth and the, and the sanitation part of it, but just making sure that whatever section that you choose to do or however you choose to section the hair, make sure it's nice and even. All right, so if you're gonna part the hair or section the hair from the front of the head all the way to the back, if you just, you know, section it from the crown and just, you know, make, make a, a small section from the crown down the nape, however you choose to do it is completely up to you. Um, but her coming from the thermal section and going on to this one, she literally just, just made a nice, simple, um, section as you see here, right? Almost like a, a rectangle right down the middle from the crown down to the nape. You just want to make sure it's nice and even. So at this point, she's putting her cotton coil on because she's going to demonstrate saturation. Her, the cotton coil obviously was part of her supplies. And what's the cotton coil used for? Cotton coil is used to absorb the liquid of the waving lotion. And so that's the purpose of using the cotton coil. Okay. At this point, now she's putting the gloves on. Now, it's important to remember that you don't want to rod with gloves on. You only are putting the gloves on at this point when you are actually applying the chemical. Now, we know this is a simulated product, but this is when she's applying the chemical. Now, this saturation, if you notice, the nozzle is not touching the hair. She's putting the simulated waving lotion across the rod, saturating it, and then turning it. So it goes underneath as well. Right now, she's demonstrating a test curl, which is what you will ask, be asked to do as well. Keep your fingers on top of the rod, because if not, the hair will bounce off the rod. Just like what I did. So you'll be asked to do that as well. So it will be rotting, demonstrate saturation, demonstrate a test curl. At this point, she's just simply removing the rods and the end papers. Now remember, in your state board test, you're graded on everything from beginning to end. So as you are taking these rods out, make sure that the end papers go in the trash and the rods go in the bag that says to be disinfected. You don't want to mix that up because you want to make sure that you're doing it properly.